Have you ever heard whispers in the middle of the night? On a dark and stormy night, a family huddled around the fireplace in an old creaky mansion, perched on a lonely hill. This mansion, inherited generations ago, held a terrifying secret within its ancient walls. The youngest child, Lily, voiced her fears about the eerie sounds she heard after sundown. With a heavy sigh, her parents revealed a chilling tale. This was no ordinary mansion, but a dwelling for the spectral presence of Emily, a previous resident who met a tragic demise. The legend whispered that Emily was wrongfully accused of a crime and met her untimely end in Lily's very room. As the night stretched on, the mansion buzzed with an uncanny energy. The lights played a sinister game, flickering and casting long, menacing shadows that danced an eerie ballet across the walls. As the lights flickered, casting long, menacing shadows, a chilling whisper echoed through the hallways. Armed with a flashlight and a heart full of courage, Michael decided to investigate the source of the whispers. The mansion, a labyrinth of dark corridors and hidden rooms, echoed with the chilling sounds of the past. Each creak of the wooden floor beneath his feet intensified the suspense. His breath hitched in his throat as he ventured deeper into the unknown. The whispers led him to Emily's old room, a place where time seemed to have stood still. The air was thick with an eerie stillness, a cold breeze rustling the aged curtains. It was in this room that he stumbled upon a dusty old drawer, barely visible in the dim light of his flashlight. Concealed within it was an antique diary, its pages yellowed and brittle with age. As he leafed through its pages, he uncovered a shocking secret. The diary held the truth about Emily, revealing the innocence she had maintained until her tragic end. The real culprit of the crime was laid bare, forever captured in the faded ink of Emily's desperate last entries. Just as Michael discovered the truth about Emily's innocence, a ghostly presence materialized before him. Like a specter from the past, Emily stood before him, her ethereal form glowing faintly in the dim light. Michael's heart pounded in his chest, his breath hitched, but he stood his ground. She was weeping, a sorrowful ghost bound by the chains of her unjust past. The diary clutched in Michael's trembling hands was the key to her freedom. He felt a surge of sympathy, a compassion that transcended the divide between the living and the dead. Emily's story unfolded before him, a tale of betrayal and injustice that had been buried for decades. The real culprit had been a trusted friend, driven by envy and greed. The realization sent a chill down Michael's spine, colder than any ghostly presence. His fear was replaced with determination. Emily was not a malevolent spirit, but a tragic victim seeking justice. Together, Michael and Emily brought the truth to light, clearing her name. With the truth revealed, Emily's spirit was finally at peace, and the mansion's haunting ceased. The once menacing mansion, filled with dread and fear, was now a beacon of justice and redemption. Emily, the wronged spirit, had found her peace, her name cleared of the false accusations that had led to her untimely end. It was through the bravery of young Michael and the unwavering spirit of Emily that the real perpetrator was exposed. The mansion was no longer a house of horrors, but a testament to the power of truth and justice. The family, once living in fear, now resided in a home that was a symbol of courage and resolution. They continued their lives, appreciating the lessons they had learned and cherishing their unexpected friendship with Emily. And though the memory of that night remained, it served as a reminder of the power of compassion and the strength to face even the scariest of ghosts.